Hello and welcome back uh, to another video. Uh, today I, I'm just going to discuss Apple uh, share price. Uh, I'm on the cnbc.com website at the moment. So you can see here the article I've pulled up. Uh, Apple revenue pops 11% to $123.9 billion. Cook says supply chain is improving. Uh, this article was published on January the 27th. Uh, 2022. So Apple reported its largest quarter in terms of revenue ever, with sales growing over 11% despite supply challenges and the lingering effects of the pandemic. Apple beat ad analyst estimates for sales in every product category except iPads. Apple CEO Tim Cook said that the company company supply chain issues are improving. Yeah, as we're coming out of um, the other side of coronavirus, um, supply chains have improved for companies overall. So that's why things have improved for Apple also. You can also uh, just uh, watch this uh, short clip as well um, about Apple and the share price and how it's doing at present. So Apple CEO Tim Cook said on Thursday that the company's supply chain challenges were improving, sending shares up. 5% in extended trading by delivering a solid beat on earnings. So if you click on that particular uh, item, you can check the earnings report, financial statements on Apple stock. So Apple beat analyst estimates for sales in every product category except iPads and overall revenue was up 11% annually. So yeah, they've overall been up 11% annually is a very good return. And as, uh, as you can see, the only thing they uh, the only product category was iPads that was down overall. So you can, as I said, the CNBC is a very, it's an excellent website for uh, doing stock market analysis, more at uh, the fundamental side of things. So you have, in previous videos, I've talked about technicals and chart analysis, but you also have to combine and read articles and know how things are going on globally, geopolitically, uh, how companies are doing, have they beat their earnings, when their earnings dates are coming, has there been a product recall, uh, product recalls can cause companies' uh, share price to drop, that's the, the panic sell-off, but if uh, they beat estimates like Apple has here, uh, or their revenues are up, and their product sales are up, the likelihood is their share price will be improving overall. So, uh, I also have the stock chart here. As I said, I've talked about the technical analysis previously. So the stock and the stock market chart here. So yeah, Apple, um, just before June, it was trading at $125.48. And it uh, does a significant rally from June until July. It went up to $148.78 a share. And it was quite choppy then between July and September. And then it fell back from September to October from highs of 156.42 down around the found a support around 139.19. And then there was a rally from the, the, to the upside from October to December from around 140 up as far as one, yeah, 180 to 183, which was very high. And it found a support around that area before dropping again. And at the moment, it's trading on the daily chart at 163.17 cent. So you have to, yeah, the performance per week is down one, minus 1.03%. Performance per month is down uh, seven, minus 721%. Percent performance per quarter at 0.36%. But, but the performance per half year is up 6.20 and performance per year is up 34.38. So the analysts have set a target price at 192.96 and it's trading in a 52 grade of 116 to 182.94. So as I said, the you have to combine the uh, the share price analysis uh, on the the charts as well as the fundamental analysis, which is also very important. So combining the two and keeping an eye on how things are going on geopolitically and anything that can affect companies' product performance is all very important. So 
If you gained any value out of this video, I'd really consider you helping out the channel by subscribing, which is completely free to do, and hitting the bell notification. That just means um, that you'll be you'll be alerted any time I upload new videos. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, I'll wrap it up there. And uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.